Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jack. With the expansion wrapping up, I wanted to see about making changes to my UI to possibly improve my FPS, performance, and just see if I needed to make a change. And so I started with raid frames. If you didn't know, I've played with Voodoo for over 10 years and my UI has not really changed too significantly. It's kind of been like Voodoo Weekora's LVI that's been the base of my UI for a long time. A lot of times people have complained about the absolute archaic look of Voodoo, and I totally get that, but it also made me wonder if there were other better options that were sort of out there. Some of my experiences with Voodoo over the years is that I like that there's always sort of an intuitive way to be able to find what you are looking for in terms of making like overshield bars and making like bouquets, which I've described to other people as like a deck of cards where you can have all the cards kind of next to each other, and then when you have one card on top, that is the top priority buff you want to see. And then when it's not present, so say like a Blood Decay, when Icebound Fortitude is the top card, you'll be able to see when it's up. And then when it's not the top card, you'll then see AMS. Then you'll then see, you know, Bone Shield stacks or something along those lines. You can sort of better track things in the same slot. Now, I was experiencing quite a bit of FPS drops throughout really all a Dragonflight, I think, as they've made changes to the UI. And part of that I attribute to Voodoo, part of that I attribute to LVI, but it kind of just kept continuing, which was getting very frustrating. There's like the refresh rates for health bars and how quickly they refresh that I made changes to. There was also the like parse button that they had in the scanner section that I was making changes to, but I still wasn't really finding that much benefit really for the FPS. I know a lot of other people were saying, hey, it's like an old looking design. It's really frustrating to like have this design from the 80s and 90s. And so I was like, well, let's go try out what the other add-ons really have in store for us. So the first thing that I tried was Cell, and this is a new-ish add-on, I think it's over a year old, but not too many people were really adapting to it. As a result, I really wanted to give it a shot because one of the biggest selling points people said was how easy it is to really set up. And honestly, I have to agree in a huge way. The biggest thing that I like about this add-on is that things often kind of exist where I really think that they should be. And that is to say that when you're looking for how to be able to track everything on your raid frames and what you want to be looking for, buffs, debuffs, having your hots, other people's hots, other people's externals, people's defensives, health pot usage, all of those things, it's all contained in a central area and it's easy to be able to look at, for example, how you want to adjust those things. So this is cell right here and what I, really loved about it is this indicator section where you can look at something where you could just see people's personal defensive cooldowns and you can blacklist or whitelist them external cooldowns and again you can blacklist and whitelist them or i've really enjoyed rolling them in together where you can see them on their own and now this is where you can adjust the height and the weight but you can also use this preview section to be able to show everything else that you are going to be working with and so if you wanted to have this combination of externals and personals, then you're going to make sure that it's not interfering with your hot icons. You're going to make sure it's not interfering with, you know, incorporeal debuffs or raid markers or roll icons or overshield bars, all of those things. And you're then able to customize it as you see fit. And so everything really starts working in tandem with each other to make sure that you're able to customize things to your exact detail. The other thing I really enjoyed about it, in addition to the previews, was also the layouts. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite aspects because you're able to set for every bit of content that you're in on this right side of the screen, you're then able to say, if I'm in solo, I would like this profile. In a party, I want this profile. Raid outdoor, raid instance, mythic raid instance, arena, BGs, so on. You're then able to scale everything how you'd like, adjust it accordingly, and then it just auto swaps. And it's very seamless in how it does that. I've played with that with Voodoo over the years, and I always didn't like how it kind of like chunked as it adjusted those frames. And there were some odd moments really that I had with it, but I've really meshed with Cell in particular. So I was running through dungeons, I was going through raids, I was A-B testing where I was having my Voodoo frames on and on other raid add-ons, which we'll talk about in this video, as well as Cell on just to be able to compare and contrast. And I noticed about like 15 or 20 FPS increase kind of on average that made it so much easier to be able to work with. I think that the different ways you're able to look at like health, 
Hellpot, Hellstone usage, the combined defensives is very like seamless and it makes sense that everything that you want to adjust with your raid frames is sort of just right there in front of you. I'll have an early version, again this is an early version, of my Cell UI in the description down below if you want to give it a shot. I probably will make some more adjustments to it and I'll have some updates on my usual UI which you can also find in the description when I do. So make sure, if you haven't already, be sure to sub to this channel because that also helps us a ton. Now this isn't the only raid frame add-on I was using. I also went through a couple of different combinations of add-ons to be able to see if I wanted to go even like more bare bones. One of them that I tried was enhanced raid frames and big debuffs and default raid frames. If you had watched my previous series, I had done Zero to Hero as a Duresto Druid and I was using default raid frames. And there were obviously a lot of issues with default raid frames, how it presents buffs, debuffs, the, the works, right? And so I wanted to grab a couple add-ons and try that out with Blizzard's native click casting. So if you go into your options and you just search click casting in the regular options menu with Blizzard, they actually have their own click casting built in so that you can bind everything just like the add-on click, which is quite nice. Although one of the very first issues I ran into was that some classes have bugs with their dispels where you have to make a macro for dispel, just like, you know, slash cast, whatever your dispel is, and then put that in the click cast menu in order for the dispel to work. Otherwise it resets the settings so that it doesn't save your dispel. So that was like the very first frustration I ran into with default click UI. Some of the other ones were like, needing other add-ons, uh, like things like big debuffs to be able to have sated, gate, challenger's burden that enhanced raid frames didn't do on its own. So I was taking enhanced raid frames and big debuffs to be able to like actually customize those things. Uh, I will say that like the refresh rate and the appearance of default UI has improved dramatically since, you know, when I first started messing around with it over like 10, 12 years ago. And so you're having the nice appearance there it's a little bit better of an appearance i think it's a really good default setup to be able to utilize but as you get further along in like your healing journey especially since we're in this era of just mad burst damage 24 7 you have to be even more proactive with incoming healing and the more information that you're able to parse and have well organized in your frames, the better you can make decisions as to who you want to heal next, how you can prepare for incoming damage, what sort of survivability tools your allies are going to have. And part of that is things like Omni CD to see in advance. Part of that is the raid frames to be able to see what they're actually using at that point in time. And I really found a number of different times where I was struggling with base UI to be able to look at these very tiny debuffs or look at these buffs or have issues with some of the buffs overriding others because the cap for the amount of buffs you can see with default raid frames was three and so some important buffs would just kind of be hidden by default when i was playing healers like druid and so as a result it was you know it, kind of a mess adding on more add-ons just to be able to make the default raid frames a little bit better instead of just going after an entire new package so that brought me on to playing with Grid, and I've heard a million different times over the 10 years or so that I've been a Voodoo main that I should use Grid and that it's way better for UI and better raid frames and everything than Voodoo. And boy, do I feel like I've been gaslit because my very first experience was with Grid was struggling to find where like the preview section is, having to turn on the previews and then go back to whichever section I was trying to build my indicators for. And while there is exacting detail that you can customize with it, the add-on like Grid, it is a lot better for people who want very specific buffs in very specific sections. Now you can also do this in Cell, but it is kind of interesting how the other add-ons go. Cell kind of thinks of all of your healing effects that you apply to your allies as being part of a whole. Whereas things like Grid and LVY when we talk about it are kind of, well, you could customize everything and you can put it wherever you want. And so I feel like it really vibes well with players who want this buff in this specific area and this buff in that specific area every single time, no matter what, so that they can just look into this area and see where it's going to be. For me personally, I've always really thought of these effects as part of my raid frames. And so I really did not like having to jump through multiple different menus to be able to set up the preview, to be able to look at that healing over time effect that I'm adding into that specific corner, making a new section and then adjusting it from there. It felt like I was opening a new menu for every single little detail that I wanted to add rather than 
having the raid frame design built with the intention that you're going to be having overshield debuffs, externals, personals, healing over time effects, debuffs, raid markers, roll icons, the works, right? And so in a lot of cases, I felt like it was a little bit better of a UI than Voodoo, but it was also, I would argue, more complex than Voodoo because you didn't even have like one section where you'd have like a drop down menu of like, here's where you show these buffs. It would be like assigning the buff into this section, assigning the buff into that section. And that was where I really did not vibe with the uh, setup super quick. And I actually ended up importing a buddy's profile to just see how his worked in action. And while I could see, you know, where he was coming from with the setup, it was just a huge mess and really a steep learning curve to be able to adapt to that add-on. And so I actually passed pretty quickly on it. So I've used LVI for maybe 10, 12 years, and it's also been another add-on I've thought about ditching. I haven't used the raid frames really ever because I immediately was like jumping into Voodoo at the time that I installed LVI. And so for me, it was kind of revisiting the add-on and revisiting certain sections that I'd never touched before. And just like with Grid, yeah, there is a lot of specificity that you can add into it, making sure that you're having a different X axis and anchor point for every single individual buffs that you're placing it. But just like Grid, it's raid frames that don't think of all of your resources and all of the things that go into healing as a whole. Both of those add-ons, to me at least, feel like those that are designed to do everything. And as a result, it doesn't help specialize for the healer role without lots and lots of attention to be able to build it up and build up those uh, frames to be able to be exactly what you want. And so from a customization and like application perspective, Grid and LVI both do a lot, but with both of them, I felt like I'm frequently jumping to a variety of menus to be able to set one buff and then jumping to a variety of different menus to set up a different buff instead of having everything sort of built in on its own. One of the things Cell has is like a priority list that has all of the regular buffs that you have on hand and an option to add more if something was missed. And then you can just quickly hit the up and down arrows to be able to adjust the priority system and then just go on your merry way rather than having different menus for preview settings, different menus to be able to see this buff versus another buff and how they're going to conflict with each other on the raid frame. And part of the overall UI issue that I was looking at tackling before the new expansion drops is that LVI comes with everything else alongside of it. And over the years, I stopped using their nameplates, their bags, their unit frames, of course, and a number of other sort of like side settings. I've already switched to like sexy maps, for example, as its own add-on instead of the regular LVY map. And so there were a number of times where I was finding other alternatives for Elv that I actually liked better and was steadily just paring down all the features that it actually presented. And I was noticing my FPS was jumping quite a bit up in comparison. And so when I'm streaming and also doing like large raid groups or have, you know, my settings are wanting to have them decently high to see what's going on. There are a lot of times where FPS becomes a major factor in some of that decision making. And so as a result, I wasn't too terribly fond of Elv raid frames either. Before I forget, there was also one more thing I really loved about Cell. And this is especially big for click casters is that people always ask if Cell is actually going to interact with click. And it doesn't by default, but I actually think that's totally fine. One of the big things it has native click casting installed right here. And so I think there was an update that these still work, but if I wanted to just change the names of them, I can make a couple of adjustments here and there. But what I love about the click casting is that it makes this menu for you that all you have to do is hit the drop down menu, find the ability that you want, and then you're good to go. I think that's one of the nicest things about it is that it shows all of the abilities. I kind of wish it would like gray it out once you had one of them actually keybound, but you know, obviously not the end of the world. It was just really nice to be able to have all of that uniformity from the very beginning with all of these add-ons so that I knew where my abilities were, how I could use them. And then I was also easily able to set up macros. They have their own macro section where you can set keybinds for your trinkets, your extra action button, your wrists, if you wanted to have the battle res or any like hand on use. I think they used to have those for like engineering. I don't know if any other hand on use stuff still exists, but the options there. I really enjoyed it. I really liked how 
this from the very beginning kind of imported all of the best features because you can do these things in like voodoo for example but a lot of people don't know you have to type the word target you have to type the word focus type the word assist into those menus to have them populate and do what you want to do and so from the very beginning it's this add-on is just built specifically with healing in mind with all of the different features that healers are really like needing over the years and I got to give a lot of love to the team and their Discord, as they have the link, and I'll have it in the description down below. From very early on, I wanted to have them sorting the raid frames so I'd be in the same position every time. And not like five days after I started using it, they immediately were making those kind of changes. So I really love how quick they are in making adjustments. There's also a whole team that's working on little like hack arounds. I was using like a script that it was like a little code snippet that was allowing me to auto resize and readjust my frames to sort them the way I wanted to them. That's what it was. I was able to adjust the sort before the add-on developer had implemented the feature because other people were working on it and other people were developing it. So like insanely nice to be able to have extra features you can add to the equation with people who are really looking to be able to customize the add-on as they see fit. So. Huge love for that. Big love to Ender Nico for designing this from the very beginning. I freaking love this add-on. And as I get more familiar with it, we'll have a cell guide breaking down all of the different things to be able to set it up and customize it before the war within. So let me know what you guys think of this video and be sure to subscribe for more if you're enjoying this kind of content. Big thank you to our Patreon subscribers, Twitch subscribers, YouTube channel members for making all this possible. Thank you for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.